Hi, my name is Georgia and I like to read. Give a book, give a voice to the channel that helps young people learn new vocabulary and listen to interesting stories. The book I'm reading today is Funny Kid for President by Matt Stanton, Chapter 9. This chapter is as horrifying as a horrible horror movie. I wake up bright and early on Monday. I'm thinking about what Hugo is saying. I think I was a bit stressed last week. It's a, lot of, it's a lot of pressure running for president. You got to be on all the time. I decide to start the day by doing some yoga before hitting the campaign trail. Once I'm all relaxed, I untangle myself from my downward dog pose. I get dressed, have breakfast, and head to school. Hugo should have all the campaign posters up by now. When I get there, my face should be covering the halls like wallpaper. On my way, I run over the day's agenda. An early press conference to talk with the school reporters about my amazing posters and unforgettable slogan. Find some babies to kiss. Presidents always get their photo taken kissing babies. Feeding a fundraising morning tea. Note to self, only invite the kids with rich parents. More photos with babies. Develop a list of reasons why all the other candidates suck. Feeling fired up, feeling ready to go. This is going to be the best day ever. This is the single worst day in my in the entire history of the whole universe. It's also, I'm quite certain, the most terrible day that will ever happen at any point, ever. And that includes the day of the actual end of the world. I'm looking at my poster. Hugo has stuck four of them on the school gate. They look like this. Next, your president. It's morning again in middle school. Vote number one. Hugo has used a super, one of the super ugly stretching my face po photos on the poster. They're everywhere. On, the, on all the classroom walls, doors and windows, on the flagpole, on the flag, on the teacher's lounge door, on the basketball court, in the garden, covering the disabled parking sign, on all the teacher's cars, on the boys' and girls' toilet doors, on the toilets themselves, in the classrooms, on the desks, and on every basketball and sports cupboard, in the, cleaning, in the cleaner's cupboard, on the mop, in the hallways, on the ceiling, and on every kid's locker door. I'm sweating like a pig on a treadmill. Then I realize Mr. Armstrong is standing right next to me. To my surprise, he doesn't even seem mad. In fact, he's smiling. Interesting strategy, Max. Then he laughs, one of those evil laughs that it goes long after he stopped actually laughing. The end.